Hello, and welcome to Black Women Obesity TV. We're back. This is going to be our first video that we're going to be showing you guys. Uh, we just did um, part one and part two of kind of our, our introductory of the channel. And now we're going to show you our first video that I think uh, black females you need to see. Remember, this is a channel for black women obesity. And we have stated what this channel is all about and it's all about black woman obesity so this first video that we're going to show is about how hot dogs are made and this guy kind of did a little comedy on hot dogs but it's a lot of it's truth he did an absolutely wonderful job on showing people exactly how hot dogs are made the scene is they're going to be in a hot dog plant and he's going to kind of narrate what is going on and what they're pulling into these hot dogs. Ladies, hot dogs are some of the worst foods you can possibly eat and give to your children. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you are listening. You are doing hot dogs, but we have got to stop this quick story about a year ago I went to a church the pastor is a female pastor says she's a vegetarian and I'm there showing videos and telling people about our program and I'm outside no actually I'm inside this room talk to the people and I smell food and I go outside God is my witness they're serving hot dogs to the children so you guys are gonna watch this video and you're gonna see basically how hot dogs are made it could be it's at the top of the chain is the worst foods in the supermarket three things I want you to concentrate on number one they're gonna put in this white powder and they're gonna call it he's gonna say an extra kick all right and we're gonna break this down when we get back number two he's going to there's a package and it's gonna say modified food starch so we're gonna I'm gonna explain to you what that is that's your diabetes and the white powder actually and number three absolutely disgusting they're to add in blood plasma now for you in the medical industry I'm sure you know what blood plasma is is the water inside animals so basically it's blood plasma blood is red because of red blood cells but it is the water part of the animal why are they adding in that in there I have no idea that's how disgusting hot dogs are and this is what we feed our children and I talked to you before in the first two videos actually the second video that weight gain obesity is caused by toxic material and we're going to talk about this white powder like I said this white powder in this modified food starch which is very very important because I talked to you about a secret chemical that they use to make mice overweight and they're adding it into every basic processed food in the supermarket so let's run this and I'll be right back
We went inside a working hot dog factory to show you the truth. What really goes in and what makes them taste so delicious. Wieners. Some people call this food. They take pork, beef, chicken, natural fibers, which fills the stomach without adding calories, puree from Japanese caught fish, too small to legally harvest. Add mammal giblets, in this case lungs, hearts, and intestines. Though insiders say it's mostly unrinsed rectums. These 70 pounds of hog cellulite will make for a nice drip on your barbecue this summer. Using a pitchfork to avoid skin contact, remainders are left to stew at room temperature for three days. The bone auger extrudes a colorless, flavorless congeal of assorted meat, filler, and live cultures. This preserves the flavor when it's in transit in unrefrigerated trucks. Charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter are added to give it an extra kick. The tears of orphans lend bitter notes science cannot yet replicate. 800 pounds of snouts and sphincter add to the flavor while ensuring the lowest possible price to consumers. More filler and additives thicken the amalgam, making it even more profitable still. Melamine and clay are used to increase weight and protein while reducing costs. Rendered carcasses of unclean animals, goats, rabbit, pig, and crawdads are brought to a heavy boil over a period of several minutes. A laborer shovels out bits before passing on the broth to be used later in a flavor soak. The products are sprayed in a bath of hydrogen peroxide. Surprisingly, there is no chemical reaction. Here, blood plasma is added from livestock and other natural sources. It bathes in a pink froth of meaty brine as it enriches with nutrients. What looks like urea over cellulite may be an omen of things to come. The outturder spills an organic slurry onto the shark belt. Excrement is sprayed over frank rollers. Gotta admit, the texture looks pretty appetizing. Workers pack barrier tubes ready for injections of steaming hot salty beef loads. An all natural substance makes perfect tubes in which to safely blast the hot beef. They are careful to make sure no infections occur as that's the whole point of these sorts of hot tube casings. They draw them out of the froth oh so slowly making sure not to drip. This worker handles wieners by a hand job as they fly at her face. Watch the shaking vibrations as she earns money to put diapers on her grandkids. The lengths of dogs are then fed in the machine, which keeps them at room temperature for three days. They're bathed in a water brine of salt, then sodium chloride, alkali, natrium perchlorate, and NaCl, finishing off with a mist of persine perineum cholesterol for flavor. This man is cursed to release a cloud of toxic chemicals every hour for life. Hot dogs are not fit for vegans, vegetarians, kosher or halal diets, or omnivores. Everyone else should be just fine. This conveyor, known as the Sausage Fest, can handle more wieners per hour, some say, than two madre. Here, the wiener grabber 3000 snatches up sausages and jams them into a waiting canal also similar to the process used by Team Audre. The prophylactics are dick stripped, leaving them bareback and ready for the mouths of hungry consumers. A wiener checker looks for burnt or discolored units to package as premium grade. This factory makes 300,000 hot dogs an hour, enough to sicken the whole U.S. population every 42 days, assuming no one has seconds. But when they taste this good, 
why wouldn't you go back for more? And that is how hot dogs are made. Yeah, I'm not going to eat that. All right, black ladies, I am back. That was pretty nasty. Let's break a little bit of this down. What's going on out here? Number one, hot dogs are not food. Did you notice that in the beginning they talked about natural fibers and it looked like newspaper, didn't it? They're basically, they call that cellulose. Those are the fillers and basically it's newspaper that they're putting in there. So you saw that. Point that out. Next thing. They put in pork, beef, and chicken. Now we're going to talk about where they're getting their beef, where they're getting their pork, and where they're getting their chicken. Those are scraps. It's not the stuff that you have in the supermarkets. This is all the other stuff that they can't sell. I want everybody to understand that nothing is wasted in this country. Nothing. Absolutely nothing is wasted in this country. So when they have scraps, someone can use it. And that's what they're putting in the hot dogs. Then they put in pareed fish. Paree fish. Uh, they, they said that was coming from Japan. Now, aren't we in the United States? So why would we get parade fish from Japan? Pretty long trip there. That's interesting. Then they talked about mammal giblets. Lungs, heart, intestines. Unrinsed rectums, he said. Because nothing is thrown away. Nothing. Hot dogs make a lot of money. Then he said hog cellulite. Hog cellulite, which is basically just the skin of the chicken. I mean, excuse me, of the hog. And, and unfortunately, hogs are pretty nasty animals. We will talk about that later. Then he mentioned about stewed. They stew this concoction at room temperature for three days. Who leaves meat out for three days? You leave meat out in your kitchen for three days? They leave theirs out for three days to ferment. That is nasty. And they talked about a colorless, flavorless product. So now it has no color and it has no flavor. So if it has, it has, you have to add something to it to give it some color, and you're gonna have to add something to give it some flavor. So let's talk about the flavor. The flavor is coming from that secret ingredient I was telling you about that gets you hooked and gets you addicted to the product. That's what they put in there. What this product does, and we're going to talk more about what exactly it is. It is a chemical that tr plays tricks on your mind. Your mind thinks that the product tastes better than it does. It's just mind control. And the mind in the chemical that they add, which affects your brain, affects your whole body. So it's not with the body, they're affecting your brain which controls the body. So they're talking about, now we're talking about your taste buds, your smell, your hunger, your cravings. It's all coming from your brain. That's what those fillers are. And that's when I told you before what they put in the mice that make them overweight. That's the substance. It's flavorless, but it plays tricks on your mind. We'll talk about the name of that. 
Then he talked about assorted meats and fillers, more fillers to make it more profitable. Then they put it in unrefined, unrefrigerated trucks. I mean, you don't even need refrigeration. Then they add in charcoal and sulfur. And then they add in that white powder, which is that for that extra kick, which plays tricks on your mind. It's mind control. It's the mind controlling the body. So they can control your hunger, your cravings, your taste buds. They can affect how much fat is going into your body. It's all about the brain. The brain of the head controls the body. I want everybody to understand that. The brain controls the body. They're not really not actually in the body, interested in the body. They're interested in what the brain can do to the body. Then he talks about snouts and think sphincters. Sphincters are just intestines that they get from other animals that they put in there. Remember, scraps of animals. Again, we're going to mention modified food starch. That's that kick. That's that chemical that they put in your foods so that your brain thinks that this food tastes better. That's the addictive chemical. And they put, they use different names. And as we go along, we're going to be able to look at the ingredients and they keep renaming these, these, this chemical. And a lot of you have heard of monosodium glutamate, right? I'm sure you have. That is basically all this is, is that substance. And we're gonna talk more about monosodium glutamate. Then he says they add more fillers to make it more profitable. They also add clay. Well, I don't know why would they add clay in there? Then they even talked about rendered carcasses and of unclean animals. What does rendering mean? Okay, rendering means, all right, let's go back. I'm sure many of you have dogs and cats and you see on the, on the streets, you'll see dead deer, dead raccoons, dead possums, dead squirrels. Where they pick all those animals up and they render them. I'm gonna show you a video on that. They're gonna render, they're gonna rent, send them to a rendering plant where they basically grind up all these animals and they use them any way they want. And they come, but believe me, they come back in to the food system. People don't like hearing that. They don't like hearing that, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go into more detail about that. Then they said, they use, they rendering the animals with goats, rabbits, pigs, there's your rendering. They're chopping up these animals and they're putting them back in the system. Then they spray with hydrogen peroxide. And then, you guys, have, most of you have put hydrogen peroxide on cuts and things. A hydrogen peroxide is pretty poisonous. Now they might be using what is called food grade hydrogen peroxide. We don't know that food grade you actually can take in, into your body, but I don't think they're using it. Hydrogen peroxide is to kill bacteria. And we all, most of us have hydrogen peroxide in our homes. Then they add blood plasma. I mean, that's what I just talked about, blood plasma. I have no idea why they're, they're using blood plasma. I mean, I don't understand it. And then they talked about an organic slurry, which really just looked like silly putty, right? Just looked like just silly putty coming out. And then they put it in the casing. And lastly, which is blew me away, they're producing 300,000 hot dogs per hour. That's how many hot dogs we're eating in this country. That means we can feed, he said, we can feed the Americans, all the Americans every 42 days on these outdoors. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? And this is what's in our, this is what's in our house. Our houses, hot dogs. There's a whole section of hot dogs. Isn't Chicago the hot dog capital of the world? 
when you go to the football games, the baseball games, the basketball games, what's the staple? Hot dogs, beer, hot dogs, soda. This is how they get it in you. So your body can't handle this. Here's your weight gain. Right there, beginning with hot dogs. And trust me, in my life, I've eaten plenty of hot dogs. But I can tell you, I haven't had a hot dog in 20 years. And I'm telling you people to stay away from it and stop feeding your kids these hot dogs. Now I'm showing you, now you see what they're made of. And there's a lot of hot dog companies buying garbage to make a hot dog. So all the people that were making hot dogs are upset with me right now. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What's the secret about hot dogs? You don't even know what's in the hot dog. Now you do. Most people don't know. Absolutely disgusting. So anyway, you got our first two videos. A little introductory. Got a little taste of what's going on with hot dogs. We're going to show some more videos this week about the foods. But more importantly, you got to get the weight off. So everything's in the description box. Food Drama TV. Download this diet. I don't like to say diet. I am sorry. The Lose 20 Pounds in 30 Day Guide. Weight Loss Guide. So we can start getting this weight off. What I need from you guys is trust. I need for you to trust me that if you get this weight off, things are going to change. It's very simple. But you got to keep listening to what I'm talking about. All right? That's all I got today. Enjoy your blessings. I'm out. Don't you hate it when that happens to you? When it does, you need this and this and this. When it happens to me, I always know where to go. When you've got professionals on your side, your problems don't stand a chance. What are you waiting for? Contact them today and let them take care of your problems.